Asu Barilu says, which means God's good light to all of you. Hi everyone, I'm Mitch and welcome back to the channel. A couple of videos ago, I mentioned that I was going to make a film about the pros and cons of living in Armenia. Well, I've since reflected on that and I decided to tell you about the 10 reasons why you should consider coming to live in Armenia and or just come and visit this beautiful land. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we go. So the first reason why you should consider coming to live in Armenia, particularly I'm speaking to Armenians, but not just to Armenians. Armenia is a Christian nation. And I think you may have found by living in the West that their Christian values are disappearing. But Armenia has remained strong, strong in its faith. And this is an important reason. I think the most important reason why you should consider coming back to live in Armenia. Here is a little montage of the Christian nation of Armenia. The second reason is really a flow-on effect from the first reason, and that is the people of Armenia. The people of Armenia still maintain family, traditional family values. You can see that everywhere you go. Children honour their parents and love them and parents love and cherish their children. Some friends of ours have adopted us as into their own families. We're not even related to them. And yet the little children call me Petros Papik and my wife Sonia Sona Tatik. <laughs> so beautiful. And they they give you such joy, children. This is a key reason, one of the key reasons why you should consider coming back to your homeland and because of family, traditional family values. The third reason is it's a peaceful and safe place to live. Yes, of course there is crime, as there is in every nation on the earth, as there is evil everywhere on the earth. 
but there is also good, much good, and generally the Armenian people frown upon uh, crime of any kind, particularly when it has visited their own family or one of their own family members is involved in crime. It's a shame for, the, um, for that Armenian family. But in the main, it's, it's a fairly crime-free country to live. You don't have to be afraid to walk on the streets at night by yourself, with your children. It's, it's normal. It's a safe place. Anyway, here's a little look at what I consider uh, to be safe Armenia, peaceful Armenia. fourth reason would be schooling or education in general. Schools are like an extended family and I have had the great pleasure of going to one particular school. Um, a little girl who calls me Petros Papik, she wanted me to come along to the opening of her school or opening of the school year. And I just saw such love, such love for these children and children's love for their teachers. And here's a little look at that. Number five, there is virtually zero political correctness here in Armenia and because of the traditional Christian values you will find that one can speak out against, for example, what God would consider evil in the world. The sixth reason is a relatively low cost of living. It's not very expensive to buy an apartment here in Armenia. It, it really depends on which area in Yerevan you're living. Of course, if you live in the regions, it's much, much cheaper. But then you have to consider work. But for example, a two bedroom apartment, fully uh, refurbished, would you could get for 60 to 70 thousand US dollars and also um, products, food products, clothing, um, the general cost of living is very, very cheap compared to the West. Number seven. Well, it would be maybe one of my favorites and that would be the food. Wow, the food is to die for. It's mostly natural, it's good for you, unless you start 
diving into all of the suites. But even there, uh, it seems to be that the everything is made more naturally. It's made, uh, particularly the homemade things are made with such love. And the produce, of course, is seasonal, but it's it's pretty much fresh. So you eat according to the seasons. It just uh, it's just really beautiful. And of course, how can we forget Armenian Horovats, which is barbecue. Let's take a look at that. The eighth reason why I think you should consider coming to live in Armenia or come to visit is the unlimited business potential of Armenia. A couple of years ago, before the Velvet Revolution of Nikol Pashinyan and his new democratically appointed government, it was virtually impossible to open a business here without paying off some oligarch. Now, I can tell you, it's changed. Number nine. Armenia now, as of 2018, has a truly democratically appointed government and Nikol Pashinyan, the, our uh, a, a new Prime Minister, is in my opinion a righteous man, a good man, a man who cares about the Armenian people. It's so important for the future of Armenia to have a truly democratic government all governments are going to make mistakes. The Bible teaches us to pray for those in authority over us. Pray for our governments. Why aren't we doing that? I just want to say that I think they're doing a great job in the redevelopment of Armenia. Now, if you want to come and live here, you can feel free that, or you can trust in a government that is trying its best, let's just say that, trying its best to work for the betterment of the people of Armenia. The tenth reason that I think you should come to live in Armenia or consider visiting is the amazing scenery. God's creation is awesome, no matter where you go in the world. But here in Armenia, well, mountains, mountains and more mountains, lakes and rivers, snow, and it's just endless beauty. And amidst that natural beauty are all of the ancient churches. You can go on a pilgrimage and visit these ancient churches and just bask yourselves in the glorious creation of God.
Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you like the content of uh, this video and you'd like to see other videos uh, describing our life here in Armenia, then please consider subscribing. And if you do, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be um, notified every time a new video comes up. It's bye from Mitch. Astvats Ordni, which means God bless you. And I'll see you next time.